if you celebrate Thanksgiving yesterday may have felt a little bit different for you. Um, a lot of us celebrated smaller. Um, a lot of us had some very different reasons to be thankful in our hearts. <clears throat> and if you are a day after Thanksgiving person, today may feel a little bit different also. Um, a little more guarded, a little more online, as opposed to being in the fray. And so today's an opportunity for us to just sit with where we might be right now. Um, the fascinating thing about yoga is that our asana, so our physical practice, is only one of eight limbs that make up our yoga lifestyle. Today's an opportunity to not only explore what your body can do, but explore how the breath moves the body and moves with the body. To explore your connection with yourself, to explore the difficulty that you may feel in certain poses, the difficulty that you may experience when certain feelings arise. Today's also an opportunity to reconnect reconnect with whatever's important to you and to draw closer to what matters. So with that being said, you may want a blanket rolled up. You may want a um, pillow off of your bed or just a cushion. Um, so we're gonna set that to the side and we'll use that later. <clears throat> we're also gonna try to ignore this. <laughs> so today we're gonna start together on our backs. Knees bent, one hand on our chest and one hand on the belly, allowing the eyes to close as we connect. As we drop in to this space and we begin to explore how the breath moves the body. Are you breathing just at the top of the breath? the top of the chest, the top of the lungs? Or are you breathing with your diaphragm? Allowing that diaphragm to open, pushing air into the bottoms of the lungs. The belly rises on the in-breath. The belly falls on the out-breath. Just be here for a moment, taking note, letting go, and preparing to accept. Reaching arms overhead, stretching legs long, inhale, stretching the ends of the body away from each other toward opposite walls, exhale, relax. Inhale, stretch, lengthen, feel room build between the ribs. Exhale, relax. Again, inhaling and reaching, trying to find more length and more space. Exhaling, relax. Soften. Inhale for the last time. Lengthen. Pull and push. Soften and firm. Exhale, relax. Rolling to the side and up. Finding a wide leg kneeling pose. This is where your um, cushion may come in handy if this is uncomfortable for you. Adding a cushion, again, rolled up blanket, anything to create a bit of loft and to soften this pressure that may exist on your knees. Widen the knees slightly um, outside of hips. Notice how the breath might be changing here now that you're sitting up. On an inhale, rising the arms overhead. Exhale, turning to the right 
and lowering. On an inhale, rising and turning back center. Exhale, turning left as you lower. Inhaling and rising towards center. Exhaling and folding. This movement is yours. Take it organically as you would like. Feel the twist wringing out any of the energy. And as you finish one round, balancing out both sides of the movement, returning center. Hands on your hips, inhaling, pressing the breastbone out, lifting the chin, rolling the shoulders back and down, sitting cow, exhaling, fold, arching the back toward the back of the room, tucking the chin, cat. Inhaling, finding space, shining heart center forward, lifting the head, exhale, arch backward. Again, taking these two movements, integrating with breath, integrating with self, making them yours. When you've evened both sides of the body, returning again to a neutral posture, noticing how the spine may feel looser, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Just be here for a moment. Now turning to find tabletop, take a moment here, resting the tops of the feet on the mat, making sure that knees are directly under hips, Shoulders are directly over wrists. Lifting in an inhale, the right arm up. Exhaling, folding the right arm through, resting on the right shoulder, resting on the head. Making sure to keep the, the hips in alignment. If you like more stretch, you can pull that left arm out in front. And just breathe right here through that right shoulder, feeling that stretch. Walking the left arm back under the shoulder and pressing through that left arm, inhale, lifting that right arm back up and then lowering it to the mat, taking a moment and realigning. Inhale the left arm up, Exhale, threading through, resting the head, rolling back onto the back of the left shoulder, extending the right arm. With every inhale, stretch, and with every exhale, deepen. Bringing the right hand back under the shoulder, pressing up. Pushing back, child's pose. Forehead meets the mat, arms extend long and tall in front, creating room through the side body. Lifting again to tabletop, finding your alignment. Inhale, bringing the right arm forward and the left leg back. Gaze is at your mat. Navel tucks in, creating a solid core, keeping the back from bowing, keeping the back flat. Inhale and with an exhale, bring knee and shoulder to one another, tucking, <laughs> keeping balance if you can. Exhale, extend. Again, tucking. 
exhaling and extending. Dropping back to table. Inhale, rise the left arm up, right leg back. Taking time to find your balance and your strength. Tucking the navel, maintaining a neutral spine, a neutral pelvis. Inhale, exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lengthen. And return. Tucking the toes, preparing for your first downward dog. Press up through the toes, lifting the hips, extending through the arms, feeling all the way through the tips of the finger, the four corners of the palms, maybe pedaling the feet here, moving any energy you may be holding, and then inviting the heels to the mat. Lifting the heels and then lowering. Shifting forward now, plank pose, chaturanga down, upward facing dog. Tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Looking in between the hands, walk, jump, or step the feet forward. Forward fold. Allow the upper body to be heavy, like a rag doll with a micro bend in the knees. You may clasp the elbows. You may rest the hands behind the neck. Breathe here. Keeping the right leg bent, shift the left leg back. Find your power in this High lunge, then reaching the arms up. Finding a gaze, a spot to fix your eyes on while you find your balance. Lowering the left arm to the mat, lifting the right arm back, looking up with that right arm. Bringing the right arm down to the inside of the right ankle. So you've got hand, hand, foot. And then dropping that back knee, find yourself in lizard. Some of you may need more of a stretch here, in which case dropping to forearms, which I can't do. <laughs> Rolling to the outside of the right foot, if you like. Feeling the stretch in the groins. Tucking the left toe, straightening the right foot back out if you've had it bent. Lifting that left knee, turning yourself forward to the long end of the mat, dropping down, forward fold. You might reach for the ankles or the feet. You might rest your hands wherever is comfortable. Breathe here. Lifting slightly, creating a bend in that right knee, lifting the left toes, rising the chest as high as you can, and then shifting over. And then finding middle again. Turning the body now so that the left foot is forward. Right leg is behind you firmly, root, lifting arms overhead in that lunge. Breathe right here, find strength in that front thigh, find stability 
in the back leg. Find an openness in the chest. Where is your breath? How does your face feel? Soften. Dropping the hands again to the inside of the left foot. Remember, hand, hand, foot. Lowering that knee to the mat. Finding whatever stretch in lizard works for you. It may look different on one side than the other. Breathe into the stretch. On the inhale, lower. On the exhale, soften. Lifting up now. Framing the left foot, meeting the left foot with the right. Forward fold. Taking a moment here to square the feet, spread the toes, lean through all four corners of the feet, root to rise, lower the bottom, chair pose. Breathing here as you create heat. Lifting, if you like, onto the balls of your feet. Ooh, forward fold. Just a deep and brief breath before we root Rise, sit, find our chair, keeping arms strong, shoulders down the back, raise, raising to your toes if you like, forward fold. One more time, root, rise, drop, breathe, and fold. Spreading the feet now a little more, well, quite a bit more than hips distance, but not as wide as we were in our forward fold. You're gonna begin, this is another place where your cushion may come in handy, put it behind where your bottom will rest. You're gonna to begin to drop down, feeling those elbows meet knees, feeling that bottom lower and the chest open, hands coming to heart center. If you need the cushion under your bottom to help support you, please take that. Your toes point out. Your chest lifts. Your elbows press. Beautiful. You may find that your garland moves. Take this pose. It is yours. Dropping the hands to the mat, lowering the bottom to the mat and bringing the legs together from right where you are. Just windshield the legs left and right. Counteract your garland. From here, keeping knees bent, toes together, you're just going to kind of shift so that you're directly on your sitting bones, leaning back a little bit to find the balance between the sitting bones and your sacrum, bringing the chest out, slowly engaging your core as you lift your knees or your feet. Finding space, finding fire, finding boat. You might bring your hands to your thighs, not to pull yourself, but to support your posture. You may find that your hands come alongside your shins. Always taking care to tuck the navel and lift the chest. And lower. Taking a brief breath here, realigning the body. Inhale, and as you exhale, 
lifting, tightening, accepting discomfort, challenge, and growth. Challenge yourself to maybe dip a bit further into the pose. Two more breaths. And one more. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Taking a moment here and then the last one, leaning back, lifting. Make this your expression, your final and biggest expression of boat. Take what you need here. Show gratitude for your power and your strength, no matter what this pose looks like to you. Be happy, be joyful with what you can do right here. And lower. Finding your way to your back. Similar to where we began. Preparing for bridge pose, or if wheel is in your practice, you can certainly take that. Hands alongside, begin to shift your shoulders, tuck them under so that your breastbone really presses out. And on the next inhale, begin rocking your hips forward, up, finding bridge. Soften the face and the neck. On an exhale, slowly and like a string of pearls, just begin to drop that back, upper back, mid back, lower back, sacrum. Inhale and begin to lift again. Pressing through that lower back, engaging the buttocks, bringing that navel into spine, softening the face, and lowering. Upper back, mid back, lower back. A third time, Bridge pose. If wheel is in your practice, hands behind you. Slowly shift onto your head and then pressing up, looking down. If you're in bridge, begin to exhale and fold. If you're in wheel, your head comes down first. Neck, upper, mid, lower. Beautiful, bringing those knees in. Giving yourself a hug as you roll left and right. <sighs> With the mouth open, breathe out heavily. <sighs> Releasing fire. <sighs> Spreading the knees now. With two fingers. Taking hold of the toes, rocking left and right, stretching through the groins. Happy baby. Finding your way now, flat on your mat as we enter Shavasana. Allowing the head to sink, shoulders to let go, arms to lay heavy, legs to grow soft. As you stay here, allow me to sit and speak to you, guide you through your body. Begin to feel the breath as it softens, as it slows, and as the body begins to cool and release. Everyone's asana looks different. Perhaps yours isn't what you expected, but it's what your body needs. Be proud of where you are.
feel the head where it meets the mat. Feel all of the energy, the thoughts, the emotion, the feelings that are being held inside your mind. Just allow those momentarily to drift backward to the back of the head, pooling where the skull meets the mat, maybe pouring out into the earth. Thoughts are inevitable, and when you find yourself drifting toward one, coming to the breath, reminding yourself that this moment is sacred and special, and that those thoughts can be attended to later. Where is your face? Unknit the brow, unwind the temples. Taking a small breath. And when you exhale, feeling the skin around the eyes begin to loosen. Eyeballs growing heavy in their sockets as eyelids drift sleepily closed. Taking a slight swallow and then just allowing the tongue to fall back toward the back of the mouth, unhinging and softening the jaw, melting the muscles of the neck. Feeling a peace and a serenity in a face which usually holds emotion, a face that's held hostage by thought. Feeling the points of the shoulders where they meet the mat. Where they may rise and fall with the breath. Imagining a smoothness across the collar and openness across the sternum, a softness in the muscles. Feel the lungs begin to open, the diaphragm begin to soften, the belly begin to widen as the ribs create space. Allow all of those precious organs that are housed within the space stop vying for attention and simply rest together. Arms heavy, inviting all of those muscles of the hands to do nothing but simply be right here in this space. The back as it lays soft and flat like a necklace, kept precious and safe. The hips and the bottom, the pelvis, the root of your being, where it rests on the floor softly, open, trusting, and protected. Feeling the thighs, the hamstrings, where you've invited those things and demanded those things work for you in these past moments. Give them permission to simply rest here, to fill with the oxygen you're breathing in, to melt toward the floor. Take in your knees, feel the softness in the kneecap where it rises gently above the knee. Feel the 
the shin as it melts away down into the calf, the calf into the floor, the floor into the earth. Imagining all those small muscles, tendons that work together in the ankles to create our mobility, to support our movement. The feet, as they may splay out, the heels as they soften and widen, the outer edge of the foot, the arch, the ball of the foot, and now the toes, the barred extremities. All of these parts of your body working together in ways that are seen and ways that are not seen to create movement and stillness. Lying here softly and quietly for a moment to gather yourself in, to let go, and to accept. wiggling through fingers, toes, beginning to bring your awareness back into your body, back into this physical space. In your own time, rolling to your side, curling around yourself like a baby, and finding yourself seated with your hands at heart center. practice today opens you up in so many more ways than you realize. Thank you for taking the time for yourself in all of these ways. I wish you health, joy, peace, safety, prosperity, and above all, I wish you love. Shalom. Thank you.